What we're looking for in the keyboard department at Guildhall is pianists with the talent, the passion, the sense of need to communicate through music and our role is then to offer the environment in which they can develop, they can grow, they can thrive. What is recognised in this environment is that in order to grow as an artist you need to grow as a human being and there is a an enormous amount of respect between students and teachers and everyone, even people at the front desk. I mean, you can feel right away when you walk in the building that there's a healthy environment. Right away I felt at home and that there wasn't a, you know, a nasty feeling of harsh competition. You always end up learning something new, even if it's not from your piano teacher, because there is a, a whole range of things happening around that kind of open up your mind and you kind of open up a bit more to what music and art have to offer you. And I think you become a more complete musician. We try to avoid the trap, which is always there for all conservatories, even the most distinguished, which is becoming a world in themselves separate and exclusive from the professions that they are connecting to. So, it's very, very important that we are breathing the same air as the music profession and I think our collaboration with the Barbican uh, plays a big part in helping us do that. I was lucky to be a gold medal finalist in 2016 to perform piano concerto in the phenomenal Barbican Hall and it's unbelievable opportunity and unbelievable feelings which you get from to playing in that hall. I'd never played in such a big hall which was very exciting and, and also ex a very good learning experience to adapt to different acoustics, to different sizes of halls and venues. In order to learn how to perform, you have to perform. So the course is very, very highly performance-centred right from uh, the first year. The, uh, there is many opportunities, both in assessments, which always take the form of recitals, to many performance projects. We do both, obviously, solo, occasionally, sometimes with duo, with four hands, in addition, of course, to a very thriving chamber music culture here, where we work very closely with the chamber music department. So we allow students to have that opportunity to get to know themselves on stage, which is a vital part of development for a performer, and how they learn to express and find out who they really are musically. We have weekly performance platforms, which is really useful because as soon as you get something under your fingers, you can just run it through, get feedback. It's something really nice about this place. One of the most important elements of the course, I think, is the masterclass program we have. Just in the last few weeks, we've had Mari Pariah, Richard Good, Jeremy Denk, and these people bring into the building a particular energy, a particular challenge and inspiration, and, and of course a healthy uh, variety of outlooks and demands which are very important for students to uh, interact with. And this is something that I think is very central to balancing the needs of the students to be getting a kind of consistency of attention and care from the faculty with the constant stimulation of, of outside additional input as well. To a young pianist, I'd recommend Guildhall because there is both structure and freedom. There's lots of structure in classes and in lessons and what they expect from you is a very, very high standard, but then they also really focus on getting you out into London and performing like here at Milton Court, which is a wonderful space or in different churches, Barbican Hall, Wigmore Hall, all of these things, they're very supportive in getting you to have, uh, to begin a concert career. To be in the center of London with like free proper concert halls around yourself, having a concert which you can attend and you can perform, it's something what you can't find in other part of the world, I think.